Um, one of the things that came out was the fact that there are some old models and some new models for doing business ex expansion and retention. And the old models, let me get back to my notes here. In the old models, they talked about the fact that, you know, often we, we as economic developers, we try to treat our companies equivalent. Uh, we try to offer the same types of support of services, you know, to all of our companies. But what we really need to become is we need to switch and become more Darwinistic in our thinking. And that we need to really focus on those companies who have survived, who are growing, who are expanding, who have been successful, and focus our efforts there because our, our energies, resources, staffing is limited. And that we need to think more Darwinistically. Well, I think that's hard sometimes when you're in a service you know, uh, industry, and we are, we're, we're all servants, maybe not public servants, but we're all serving our, our local economies. Um, the other thing is that um, they said, you know, one of the things that we could kind of bring to the mix is that when we're doing our BRD visits, when we're doing our site visits, our retention visits, and the trend was that less and less visits are happening nationally. Economic development professionals are not getting out as much and especially in the rural areas. And again, it's probably because of a reduction in our resources. Um, but that to get the biggest bang for our buck when we actually do do the visits, uh, do them in teams, as large of a team as a, I think a company can tolerate. Um, and that, that workforce needs to be a part of the team, that if we can bring someone from banking and fiscal with a banking and fiscal background to the team, I think sometimes we don't think about that piece. Um, and that, uh, um, that if we have municipalities involved, counties and state, we need to bring in a team made up of that, that type of diversity. 